our studies have shown that it decreases biological age by two and a half years. I don't know if there's any other interventions that can give you that effect with as little as 15 days. Hello, welcome everybody. Today we are talking about fasting, but a new kind of fasting that allows you to eat and at the same time, it tricks your body into thinking that you're crushing a five-day water fast. And if you've ever done a multiple-day water fast, you know that is nothing easy about it. So here with me today, Dr. William Su, who's a chief medical officer from El Nutra, the company behind the fasting mimicking diet, or in other words, Prolon, an innovative approach to a five-day fast that allows for some food intake while delivering the benefits of a traditional fasting. The FMD addresses this from a different angle. So it's not something you do for a long period. So it's only five days, if I understand it correctly. And that's right. what I've done it. And it's very specific in terms of nutrients mm. and, and what, you, what type of food you eat throughout those five right. days. How was it developed? Now we're able to come up with this fasting mimicking diet because now we know how much amino acids, proteins, glucose, all the nutrients that would trigger the sensing of these nutrients. By giving nutrients that fall below these threshold for these nutrient sensing, we're able to trick the cells into thinking you're fasting when in fact we're sneaking some food into the body. And that is the design concept behind the fasting mimicking diet. And I keep nodding and I keep making notes as you're talking because it, it just lights light bulb after light bulb in my head as you're mentioning how throughout this clean out autophagy process that gets activated, uh, the body cleans out the misfolded proteins. It, it, it takes apart those dysfunctional mitochondria. And we're talking about things that are among the 12 hallmarks of aging. So I wanted to shift the conversation a little bit toward longevity where where we have these 12 hallmarks and when you're fasting, those cellular mechanisms that occur are actually addressing those root causes of aging. So yeah. how, what are some of the additional hallmarks that we can talk about in terms of yeah. FMD? You know, the, the, the conversation is, is, is not around here is a disease, here is a tissue, here is a specific area that, that we can use this to, to, to address. The concept has to be, if we are talking about cellular survival and we are making the cells younger and the fasting process, in fact, affects every cell in the body, then we have a truly one intervention that is upstream, right? One, uh, one intervention that applies to almost every cell in the body. So you think about that, that that's really an, an amazing concept here. Modern medicine tells us if you have cholesterol problem, you take a statin. If you take, if you have glucose problem, you take a diabetes medicine. If you have hypertensive, you have high blood pressure, you take a blood pressure medicine. It's a very deduction, a deductionless point of view. But when you think about through the fasting mimicking diet, you are addressing the biology very upstream. By one inter intervention, every cell faces the problem with not enough calories during fasting. Every cell goes through the autophagy. Every cell is going to turn over. Now that's going to affect cellular senescence. That's uh, going to uh, affect uh, uh, inflammatory aging. That's going to affect uh, uh, stem cells. That's going to affect so many other hallmarks of aging. Because you're talking about, you, you're starting from the very top intervention. Think about many of the health conditions, many of the hallmark of, of aging are downstream markers. Think about a river, right? You have upstream and downstream. If aging is the pollutant that you pour into the river at the upstream, every branch, every tributaries down the river is going to be polluted, mm -hmm. right? But if you clean up, if you prevent the dumping of, of, of these waste into an upstream, then you can keep this river clean. This is what happens when you, when you trigger cellular autophagy. When you address aging from the, uh, from the very root, you're not left with dealing with all these inflammation one by one, stem cell one by one, 
immunosenescence one by one, you're addressing upstream because by reversing biologic age, by reducing biological age, you're making the cells younger. Many of the problems that we face today is related to aging, right? 20 year olds, even though they party hard, they eat crap, they don't develop hypercholesterolemia. They don't have hypertension, even though they don't sleep, right? And, and they drink a lot and then they party a whole lot. They don't struggle with hypertension. Why? Because they're young. Yeah. And that's why this is a revolutionary concept, breakthrough concept. Instead of addressing each disease one by one, can we help the body to become younger? And that's the crux. That's the secret of the fasting mimic and diet technology. Yes, and, and, I, and I totally agree with how when we are young, I mean, personally, when I was in my 20s, things were a lot faster in terms of recovery. I didn't I, have... I tend to agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lot faster. It's a lot easier. It doesn't take a toll on you. Nowadays, when I have a, you know, a celebratory night out, I need two, three days to truly feel myself again. And I'm not Ooh. even in my 40s yet. So it's, it's very interesting to see how the sooner, not only the sooner, well, the sooner you begin to take control of these mechanisms that allow your body to clean up internally, the easier that aging process will take place. And those cumulative effects of if you're constantly having the, taking, making those bad lifestyle choices, those will eventually catch up with you. And it will take a lot longer for those cells to recover. There will be a lot more damage to to control. And and interestingly, I know we're going to talk a little bit about the the studies that have been done on prolon because there is plenty in mm -hmm. both in animal models and in human models. So it's yeah. it's very very fascinating and tons are ongoing. But I would love to talk a little bit about since we're talking about you know lifestyle choices and how people feel. Bring this back up a little bit from the cellular mm -hmm. level to yes. what happens on the surface. How will mm. we clear out processes and, and changes from a cellular level manifest on the surface? Yeah, you know, I, I think that now, you know, prolon has been used in over million cases, if you will, all around the globe. So we we have a lot of data here. Uh, many people come and want to use Prolon and the, and the fasting mimicking diet programs. Um, they're drawn by the science, right? What happens on the cells. But they keep coming back, repeating its usage because of how they feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is no secret that uh, since the ancient times, uh, monks have gone over to the mountains and fasted for days because they want to get closer to God. Okay, there is that spiritual component to it. Why? Because there, the you know, partly how we understand this is fasting affects every cell, including the brain. There is mental clarity when people go through the fast because you now you're switching that fuel source from carbohydrate to ketones and fat, and that changes the metabolism in the brain. Okay, and people feel energetic, right? Uh, sort of a lot of people experience this mental fraud, you know, sort of, you know, sort of fog, mental fog. And um, with, with fasting, that can, you know, a lot of people report that mental clarity, um, that increase, uh, enhance energy and therefore performance. And people like that, right? Because we were all stressed out in, in our society and that mental clarity and the increased energy um, is what people will experience firsthand. Second, on the physiology, people can easily see with five days of prolarm, you're going to lose weight. And the most important thing is, is, is where the fat is. Now, you may not know this. When, when you are on a low-calorie diet for a couple of months, you lose both fat and muscle. But with fasting, with, especially with prolarm, you're not losing muscle. You're losing fat. It's a fat-driven weight loss. Very, very important because... When you fast, it's a stress to the body, okay? Just think about a lion, you know, in the wild, right? Hunts and then doesn't hunt for the next couple of days. It's going to fast for the next couple of days. And, and that fasting is a, a unique kind of stress that triggers growth hormone to be secreted. And growth hormone is going to protect the muscle. In addition, 
the design of Prolon also supports the muscle preservation. That's a key feature here. Very, very different than, let's say, Ozempic or other GLP-1 drugs out there. 30 to 40% of the weight loss uh, from those drugs are due to the fact that you lose muscle. Once you lose muscle, what happens? Well, when you stop that drug, the weight regains back and your ratio of fat to muscle is even worse after you stop uh, stopping those medicines. In fact, when you are on a, a, a treatment of GLP-1, you may well lose up to 10 years of age-related muscle, um, um, equivalent to 10 years loss related to aging, right? Because we know as we age, we lose muscle, but you can certainly accelerate that with a GLP-1 drug if you're not careful. Oh, wow. And so all these, you know, people come because people keep doing the fasting mimicking diet because they, they feel better. Right. And number two, they see the weight loss and it's the right kind of weight here. You lose fat while preserving lean body mass. And then obviously if you follow biomarkers, you're going to see improvement in many of the biomarkers. And, and most importantly, it may be perhaps the most invisibly of the cellular benefits we talked about. So all the way from mental to physiological, you can see it right around your waist and then uh, clearly something that only science can tell us. That's the cellular cleanup, the rejuvenation uh, through cellular autophagy. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's 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 very eye opening how much just five days of calorie restriction, the right way with the right type of nutrients can can have such a lasting impact. And personally, I saw one of the main things that I noticed when I was doing the prolonged fast were I think it was the first or second time. I noticed my HRV, nocturnal HRV, increased by 10 points. Yeah. I've never seen my HRV increase 10 points for being um, just being very leveled and steady for about a couple or if not three months. And then slowly went back to baseline, which kind of makes sense in a way that Prolon is something that you do cyclically as a healthy individual mm -hmm. uh, to maintain uh, long-term effects. And I wanted to touch a little bit about these epigenetic mechanisms that that Prolon kicks into gear, because you mentioned the uh, genetics is yes one part of our our life, but what we become has a lot to do with the epigenetic factors that are impacting us on a day to day, from stress to diet to lifestyle choices mm -hmm. and environmental factors. So, how yeah. does the FMD impact and influence gene expression yeah. in the, for, for long term health? I think, you know, th this is uh, the mechanism of F uh, FMD goes far and deep, right? It, it triggers cellular rejuvenation, but also triggers cellular reprogramming. And, and this is an area of intensive uh, investigation that we're looking into first in, in the uh, animal models and then humans. Um, I, I think it may be very technical to go into a lot of the details, but, uh, but I want to to share with you sort of one of the more recent publications and maybe something that we can relate to a little bit more. And that is, you mentioned fa fasting and making diet is five days, um, but nothing you do five days is going to change your life forever. That would be a miracle drug. And I, and honestly, I would encourage you not to believe in that, right? Because anything, I mean, we're a living organism. Our cells will turn over and, and Exercise, you cannot go to a gym and take a yoga class and, and, and be done with for the rest of your life. But what we have seen uh, in the paper that published in Nature Communications uh, earlier this year is a merely three cycles of FMD, three cycles, uh, is able to reduce median biological age by two and a half years. That's a culmination of all the cellular, the, the, the epigenetic changes right? And also the physiologic changes to drive a drop in biological age. So let me walk back a little bit. You know, we all know our age and I, I will share mine with you. <laughs> uh, but, but certainly um, chronologic age, that's the date of, of the year of our birth, doesn't determine exactly what our health status is. You can imagine a lot of people in their 50s are probably have a bodies of 30s if they you right know, if they take care take care of themselves. If they don't they don't a 50 year old body could could be like a 60 year old or 70 year old body. I mean there's something we can relate to. And so there is this concept called physiologic age or biological age, right? So everybody comes 
with a set of com combination of health factors that contribute to an index called biological age. It can be measured in many different ways. Some people are looking at as sort of a, 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 you know sort of a, a DNA glycation or DNA methylation, if you will. Uh, some people look at uh, from a metabolic profile standpoint. In other words, they are more objective measure of your longevity than your true calendar year, if you will. Okay, and uh, as little as three cycles FMD. We're talking about five days, three cycles, four cycles. We're talking about fifteen days per year. If you repeat this cellular shrinking through this fasting and then replenishment after refeeding, if you repeat you repeat this cycle three times, a total of 15 days in a year, our studies have shown that it decreases biological age by two and a half years. I don't know if there's any other interventions that can give you that effect with as little as 15 days. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave us a comment below with any questions or feedback you may have. Send us some topics you would like us to talk about and discuss next. And also there's a ton of links in the descriptions with extra information that you can dive into to explore all the different aspects of longevity. So tune in next time. We're looking forward to seeing you.